Hey guys, this is Tigran and today will be a little bit quick uh, overview of uh, what I found in GitHub trendings today which pretty surprising that this kind of technology developed in this short amount of time and using a completely new programming language Rust uh, as you probably heard about that but if you right now go to like GitHub trendings there is a uh, like I'll say framework or library I I haven't yet checked it that out uh, personally uh, so I'm not 100% sure but uh, it names Tauri and it is basically a replacement for Electron GS and that kind of surprised me a lot because itself Electron based on uh, V8 engine and uh, Node.js itself uh, so by replacing that they probably have to rewrite every uh, like native API that Electron.js itself has and they should have been done some kind of an engine for uh, spinning up a browser itself to support modern UI development uh, with an actual JavaScript frameworks that we have available right now so they have pretty strong like star bucket about 4000 which means that they are pretty much mature and uh, if we go to the actual github repository page uh, we can see that they have already like releases uh, about 72 of them uh, and yeah pretty much they have yeah 600 around 600 commits it's not that a lot but uh, if we compare that they are like very active in development uh, we can tell that it's it will be very mature technology uh, after a couple of years or even like at the end of this year and they have pretty good like contribution counts and if you see like the technologies that they are actually using like 66 percent is rust which means that the actual electron gs replacement engine written in rust that's kind of interesting because uh, i bet they have something uh with do with Deno or like even they probably done a similar thing because Deno itself as a replacement of Node.js written in Rust so it's pretty uh, fast and uh, stable uh, because it uses Rust and for those who don't know uh, anything about Rust uh, I'll say a couple of words like Rust itself is a very low level programming language and it came as a replacement for C++ and other system programming languages and it's actually a first of its kind that they don't have like garbage collection but this specific programming language is memory safe because they have very uh, intelligent compiler which actually uh, don't allow you to compile your application if you have any kind of memory leaks or mistyped uh, some definitions so they are pr strongly typed so Rust itself considers as a very fast and uh, uh, efficient uh, programming language because they uh, they they are telling the, and my experience with rust was if you go up to the abstraction you shouldn't be losing on performance or uh, memory gains that much is if you compare that with other programming languages if you add up your abstraction with classes or uh, with new interfaces it's almost the case that you are adding up uh, your memory overload or your CPU performance overload so that's the case with Rust and uh, it's pretty fast and reliable programming language especially if you're writing something and you care about uh, your memory safety and the security of your application so that kind of very interests me uh, in this uh, electron replacement I'll definitely check this out but from their uh, like checklist it seems that 
they still have a lot of things to done but the bases are there so you can right now uh, build a UI app and compile that to uh, Mac OS Linux or Windows app and communicate with an actual uh, server based uh, like backend of your desktop application so this kind of uh, process is already there but they still have things to do like the most important that pretty much uh, I will use definitely is deep linking our system tray and we have actually recorded uh, some videos how to make a system tray application with Electron GS uh, please check them out they they will give you some uh, like understanding what kind of apps uh, allow to build on top of Electron with its all functionality yeah that's pretty much it in terms of functionality they have almost like everything in that you need in terms of a core haven't really made any kind of apps yet with this but I'll definitely make another video related to this one but another thing that I want to point out is the actual structure that they, they have this is the, their like website documentation uh, that they are providing it seems that they have everything packaged up in a rust binary so your actual application with ui uh, compiles down to a single binary and from that binary it actually provides a backend uh, for your uh, application it is similar that Electron was doing with Node.js and UI uh, they communicate each other with uh, some kind of an IPC uh, communication protocol in this case it is a frame buffer so an actual application is actually exchanging frame buffer uh, instead of just uh, communicating over some kind of like communication TCP protocol so this kind of seems it will be way more efficient and performant and their uh, benchmarks is actually that <laughs> and their benchmarks is actually uh, made made me uh, think that this will be really good replacement for the actual electron itself because like if you take a look here the actual binary size for compiling is under one megabyte and instead like electron compiles everything to 47 megabytes which is huge like huge huge deal uh, in terms of like downloading an application or uh, asking your clients to download the new application if it's so big and also memory consumption we all know that electron is not performing very well uh, especially if you take a look on your task manager sometimes slack getting uh, like nearly two or four gigs or of ram uh, without like doing anything it just consumes uh, that much of memory anyway and the rest is actually uh, same as other uh, technologies will have but the good thing is that they are planning actually to build an iOS and Android wrappers for this which is kind of very interesting seems this will be a full cross-platform uh, thing to follow along so yeah that's probably it let me know in the comments what do you think and uh, if you want me to make another tutorial for this just uh, let me know uh, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you